beautiful city here in the Algarve region of Portugal and a very underrated one because most people head over to the neighboring Albufeira. So today I'm gonna do a day trip through here and see if it's worth your time and if you're not coming here then maybe you get to experience a little coastal town on the Algarve region of Portugal. So much to discover. Let's go. We start our day right here in front of the marina where you are gonna find two of their most important bronze statues plus a very fancy cool I love Fado sign and not to mention a very important monument to the people of this town. So definitely this is a good place to start because you can also catch the hop on hop off that takes you around the city. Ah, the clean air. <laughs> Plaza is that you're gonna have so many coffee shops, crepes, yogurts, ice creams, you name it. All those shops are around here. So everybody tends to go by their favorite, come to the benches, sit down and rest, whether it's before they start their day or after. For me, I'm feeling a little lazy today, so I'm starting. <laughs> Fano is definitely the city that you want to be if you want to come back at night and relax after being out all day and as such here you're going to find such a variety of tours, day trips, you name it, you will find it right here and you will also get to visit its islands, its neighboring cities and come back to an amazing amazing place at night and that is the allure of this very city. Park right across from the marina now this is a great place to come not only to people watch and relax but also to come check out all the artisan goods that you are gonna find here now the market is bigger on the weekends but you can still find it throughout the week and it's an excellent activity once you've done it all to come hang out and support the local artists let's go check it out Favorite part of 
part of the city. I have been here for quite a few days and this is honestly my favorite part, especially during lunchtime because you get to listen to beautiful live flute tunes in the background. You get to see the amazing church, the quick little plaza with all the restaurants and everybody kind of just walking around in total utter peace and oh, I just love it. traditional Portuguese cuisine. All you have to do is just walk around for a little bit and pick what you fancy the most. white buildings or colorful buildings or you will see signs of history in every corner you take so it's an amazing thing to do to just kind of aim with that direction much more than just the cathedral, the marina, the market, or walking through its beautiful, colorful, or white streets. You're also going to have a commercial area where you can also come have lunch, shop, get souvenirs, or maybe just have a coffee and relax for a little bit. It is quite a complex of stores put together, so definitely worth to check it out. Well, you are here. One of the very cool stores to visit is going to be the one right behind me. And it's a very eccentric yet interesting store where you will find canned fish of all types. And they come with your birth year, so it's pretty cool. restaurants, bars, you name it. It is particularly special at night when all the lights just go on and it gives you an amazing vibe. All right, and finally, my biggest recommendation for this place is to try the seafood because they generally have some of the best restaurants that you will find. For us, we decided to come to this one, which we have been to before. And we have ordered some swordfish and soup and I am going to dig in and enjoy it. Absolutely fantastic and 
what better activity to do after an awesome lunch than to walk around the city of Faro in search of its best churches. One of them is right behind me. Now Faro has a lot to offer and you will find several churches like this scattered through the city. Each one of them with something special to offer. This one in particular it's very interesting in the sense that it does have a thousand bones of monks that were buried in one of the chapels here and if you're into that sort of stuff that is definitely worth the trip to this beautiful city and we've come to the part of the video where we actually answer the question is this city worth taking a day trip to or should you pick one of the neighboring towns my answer is yes, Fado is definitely worth it. You have a lot of options to choose from and it really certainly does make for a great central connecting point to all the activities around here. You can do Lagos, you can do the islands, you can do Alphavera, different options that you can do and you can come back to the quietness and to the relaxation that this town can offer you. So definitely keep it open in your options and on that note I do have to say that although the days here have been amazing it's time for us to move on to our next spot and we're gonna keep going from Fado now if you like to see more content like this please make sure that you guys subscribe like and don't forget to click that little bell and I will see you guys next time from somewhere new thanks bye